you. Howdy, everybody. Today, we are reacting to Nukes Talks 5 scary, top 10 scary videos from all over the place. Hopefully, y'all enjoy this video. Um, let's get right into it. None, none, enough of yapping, right? On Skibbity Riz Toilet. I'm kidding. Bro. Brain rot shit. Let's go. Some say that children have the uncanny ability to connect to the spirit world, and in some cases, even see or communicate with the other side. In this next video, a father is home alone with his son when the toddler seems to spot something truly bizarre. Oh, mama. Mama. <laughs> Your mama isn't there. There's no one there. What? Mama. Are you seeing ghosts? Yes. Oh, in what? In video posted by Kurt Harris, his family is visiting his grandmother in Chicago when his little cousin Daisia says something that is downright chilling. Yeah, throw the whole child away, bro, at that point. <laughs> Tell y'all, we believe in adoption around this channel. Uh huh. I don't eat Little Daisia claims that the relative wow. in an older photo on the wall visits her at night. That's now, crazy. the only problem with that is, well, he did. Okay. <laughs> Nuke, wait! <laughs> in fact, the man in the photo passed away in 2005, over 14 years before little Daisia was even born. She has never even met the man. Or Damn. did she actually meet his ghost? You decide. I don't know, y'all. I mean, he might have, she might have met him, bro. Is this, you know? Up here? Uh huh. <laughs> Chad, what'd y'all think? The Crescent Hotel. Built over 138 years ago, the Crescent Hotel in Eureka Springs, Arkansas has become infamous for its dark history full of death and tragedy, leaving the hotel with the ominous name, quote, the most haunted hotel in America. The hotel was once a treatment center run by a man named Norman Baker. Baker mm. claimed that he had, quote, the miracle cure for cancer. Of course, these claims were completely false and hundreds of people lost their lives within the walls of this building, hopelessly waiting on a cure that would just never come. That's Some crazy. of the patient's remains were said to be scattered on the property. Now, with a history like that, it's no wonder that today many of the hotel guests claim to have had terrifying paranormal encounters. And some of these experiences were even caught on camera. Four years ago, Jennifer Cronister was visiting the Crescent Hotel with her mother when she accidentally captured something truly creepy. Girl's Luke, trip, I trust you, bro. I know your shit's scary, hotel bro. In America, you and my and here my right at each other. On the creepy God, door is my eyes just so like, that's I come back. early bedtime looking for goats. Did you see it? What the hell? When slowed down, it becomes clear that something moves in front of Jennifer's camera. Bro. Something that resembles a small child. These are bangers. Even creepier, Fox Nation reporter Abby Hornacek also stayed at the hotel and left with painful scratches on her back. But Damn. that's not all. A woman named Angelina and her daughter were staying in room 212 at the Crescent Hotel. It is said that on this side of the building, the spirit of a mysterious lady in white is often seen on the balconies. In fact, it's claimed that sometimes this ghost is actually seen falling from the balconies into the garden below. So it's Damn. six in the morning and Angelina is outside her room enjoying her coffee. And then this happens. Nah, Shorty's singing. That's crazy. What? Again. There's nobody over there. <laughs> Bruh. 
bro, what? Angelina is shocked and also a bit excited when she hears the voice That's of crazy, a woman bro. singing from the balcony right next to her. Because there's no one over there. Angelina says that she was a bit creeped out by the experience, but she is also grateful to have captured what she believes is the voice of a spirit. <laughs> Dude, that is eerie. Oh my god, bro. Knock, knock. Late Hell no, I ain't trying to find out who's there, bro. What? <laughs> spooky dare at a local school that is said to be haunted. The story goes that if you go around to the back of the school and knock on the nurse's office door, someone or something will knock back. Go! Just knock on it, knock. Oh yeah, y'all cook, bro. Knock harder. Let him know. <laughs> Let him know it's crazy. Let him. Jeez. Some loud scream since the girl's running in terror. Let him. Now, unfortunately, the original creator of this video has basically disappeared off the internet. So for now, whatever happened next we don't remains know. a mystery. Of course. We need scary videos. So if you've seen one or even filmed one yourself, contact me at nukestop5. Yeah, bro, I'm going to do that if y'all got any more content from Schools my boy Nuke. 14 years ago, Mark Doty visited a private school in Seattle to use the school's recording studio to lay down a new track. Mark sets up his camera in the school hallway and is about to record a vlog what for social fuck? media. Holy shit, he scared reason, the fuck out of me. Feeling well and is having my dad had to scare the absolute Eventually, shit out of me. Just oh up. my god. Much later, Mark is going back through the footage. <laughs> oh <that he> my <laughs> god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Bro, I got scared, bro. Just recording a video right now. I was scared shitless. Oh my god! I was like, "What the fuck?" I thought some. I thought like, like the shit that happened in the video was coming to real life. I was like, "What the fuck is going on?" I was scared shitless for a second. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, chat, bro. Oh my god. Recorded at the school, what he sees. Chills him to his core. This is the video. Okay. Okay. Um. Oh crap. Uh. Uh. This, I'm not gonna. This is. I'm not doing this right. Um. Okay. I can't even see myself. I don't bro, know bro, you see that in the hallway? No, 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 The eerie translucent figure of a woman dressed in a long white gown can just barely be seen walking down the staircase. But as the figure suddenly turns the corner, it becomes very visible. That's but then crazy. It disappears out of sight. Mark is completely unaware of what's happening right behind him, but for some reason he feels confused and unfocused. Now, it's worth mentioning that Mark has dedicated his social media and YouTube channel exclusively to his music. This 14-year-old footage is the only video on his channel that has anything to do with the paranormal. The unwelcome guest. The unwelcome guest, of course. Workers at a mid-sized hotel in Los Angeles, California have noticed strange things happening on the hotel's second floor. These odd incidents usually seem to occur late at night. All right, so we're getting crazy calls from this room that is unoccupied in the second floor. Okay, keys. I think it's two. Yeah, two twenty-six. That's right. There's the phone. Okay. No one's calling. I think no this is why they reacted to the new top five no because bro actually has good ass. A worker at the hotel says to. they've been getting frequent unexplained phone calls from an empty room on the second floor. 
He goes to check, but he finds no explanation for the bizarre calls. There's no one staying in that room. But did you hear it? After I carefully analyzed this video, I noticed something odd that neither the uploader or his viewers seemed to catch. Now I've isolated and enhanced the audio to make it easier to hear, but listen closely. What? That is wild. Without knowing, the hotel worker seems to have caught a creepy EVP of a voice whispering, why? As he walks down the second floor hall. Why are you that's there? That's not all that the late night hotel staff has captured on video. During a slow night of work at the hotel, a girl named Brooke and her coworker decide to pass the time with a fun little race challenge. They put their phone in the hotel's elevator on the third floor and attempt to race the elevator down to the lobby to pick it up. But then things just get weird. Weird, okay. Um, this couldn't go wrong, right? Nobody there. Dude, what? Nah, that's creepy. Bro. The elevator hangs on the allegedly haunted second floor as the doors continuously open and close nah, bro, you can't for no reason. And strangely enough, another unexplained voice seems to quietly say, hello? <laughs> Cut to another night at the hotel. Brooke decides to record as she and her co-worker are busy arranging furniture in one of the vacant second floor rooms. Record this tonight was not the a video good idea. was meant to be a random blog showing what they do on an average night at work. But when she looks back at her footage, she finds something that is pure nightmare fuel. I found that. I don't know how to the stairs. I don't know, but I mean, I, oh, I felt bad, but I'll, you know, don't feel bad. It's just terrible. Can you hold it? I'm going to clean it real quick. Yeah. I don't know what I mean. Like, I don't know. Yeah. Anyways, so my sister, she graduates in two days, and I asked for the whole weekend off. Yeah. This is already a banger, bro. What do you want to talk about? Where the mirror should go? <laughs> yeah, actually, let's do our job. Okay. okay. All right. Chat, should the mirror go here in this corner? The right corner. Okay. Or in that corner? Did you see it? Nope. For a brief moment, a dark shape can be seen standing in the opposite corner of the room, Whoa. watching the two where the dark figure as they work. Hell no. But nah. when they pan the camera back over to the corner where the dark figure was standing, nothing's there. There's nothing there. So, is this LA hotel haunted, or is it all just a very elaborate hoax? You decide. A cry for help. Late one afternoon, two teenage girls are hanging out in the woods near their home. They're taking pictures of a red rose in the forest for an art project for school. They begin to hear something very strange coming from the woods nearby. They start to get a little freaked out. And one of the girls takes out her phone and captures this disturbing video. Dude. I have ice cream to blood demons. They need to scream. Oh. 
You didn't hear that? That never scared me anyway. Maybe it's just a bunch of kids trying to summon demons. That in the forest we're in? Yeah. <laughs> Fun. <laughs> I wonder if she's by herself. The more you listen, the less scary it sounds. It might be a skinwalker. The more I listen, the more scary it sounds. Why is it like that? Oh, we gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, she's not by herself. Cool. Good. That's close, bro. I think I know it is. I think it's a hyena. So a hyena sound like? No. No, uh, hyena does not sound like that, bro. The two girls hear bizarre screaming bro. coming from somewhere nearby in the Skin woods. Walker, bro. But the two teenagers, apparently fearing demons and hyenas, are pretty freaked out and decide to just Hurry home. Yeah, that's what I would have done, bro. I would have been left. What happened? And her mom makes the very wise decision to immediately call the police. The local authorities arrive and search the area. And in a tragic turn of events, they find a woman in the woods desperately screaming for help. The woman's husband had suddenly lost consciousness and quickly passed away out in the middle of the forest. The woman cried and cried for help but it was hours before anyone came. Now, unfortunately, nothing could be done for the man, even if the call had been made earlier. But this very sad story is a good reminder that scary sounds aren't always something scary. Damn. Calling the authorities just might save a life. Damn. Secret Shopper. Damn, that's sad, One night bro. At around 10 p.m. at a discount that's store sad in California, as hell. Rodney, the store manager, is busy processing some inventory Damn. in the stock room. Rodney is completely alone when something happens that sends chills down his spine. I want you guys to focus on this area right here. Yeah, I'm locking okay. chat. Hold on, let me uh, speed this up a bit. All right, watch. Look. Boom, Nobody's there. Suddenly, for no reason, a box falls from the high shelf in the storeroom with a loud bang, freaking Rodney out. But as he reviews the store security camera footage to show what happened, he suddenly hears a strange sound coming from somewhere inside the store. He goes to investigate, and this is when things get really creepy. Oh, hell no. Is that you? <sighs> Bro, got look, balls. Look, I'm here by myself. Of Nobody's here. That it's makes just no me. Sense. See that? Oh my Play God, War Thunder bro. now. Join me, bro. Really? Come out! I'm not yeah, afraid bro's of you. Cool. Yeah. Stuff gonna fall off the shelf or something. Is that you? That threw down the box earlier? Come on out! You don't scare me. Chat, like, my heart is, like, racing right now, dog. Hey, Red. Come on up. Dude. He's trying to mess with me. That's the only way how we have limited view as viewers. Because it's... Ooh. 
Rodney searches the store to find the source of the strange sound, when suddenly he feels a weird tug on his hair, almost as if something is touching him. Damn. He goes to check the store security camera, and his blood runs cold. Look, there I am, right there. Look, you see that? You see that? Damn. Nah, nah. Man. This hair's even tall, nah, bro. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> it looks like something pulled Rodney's hair. Now, Rodney posted his video to show what happened to him, but has chosen to keep his identity and the location of the store a secret. Uh, it, I didn't want to be labeled this store as the haunted store. So, I got you my store some crazy things happened and took some video and that's about it so is this a real paranormal encounter or not i'd say as so, always because usually it's something like paranormal to like pull something on like on somebody emergency it usually looks like that in this next creepy video like three medical all the way, students but like are working it's, it's like shift, it up. and it's a bit of a slow night on the job so, to pass the time, they decide to set out to explore an abandoned and allegedly haunted section of the hospital, the old out-of-service hospital emergency room. You guys, haunted ER? What about it? We're gonna go. Haunted ER, haunted ER. Throughout the hospital's many years in operations, countless patients died yeah, in this section scary, of the hospital. Bro. The most recent tragic death being that of a young child. It is said that the ghosts of patients who passed away still haunt the old ER. So the three med students make it down to the abandoned old emergency room. And yes, things are about to take a terrifying turn. Uh oh. Here we go. Oh my god, my head is huge. Stop. Chloe, so I can't even. The huh? I just close to the camera. Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. We got a chance for the haunted. <laughs> Yeah, oh, they're going to the haunted version of the like, yeah. yeah. Now nah, they could, bro. <laughs> it feels like a, uh, we're getting on a. Uh, are you nervous? Are you nervous? Because it's haunted. <laughs> are you nervous? Nah, bro. Nah. Nah, Nukes has good scary videos, bro. And like, this is my first one. And uh, I just know it. Yeah, of course we're gonna go in with you. Y'all are cooked, bro. I told y'all. I've been told y'all y'all are cooked, bro. This is how it works. You go in, you try to investigate shit. You're not supposed to investigate, then you get cooked. That's what, that's how it's how this shit works. I don't like this. Hell no. Nah. It moved. It moved. Yes, it did. Why it did. Move? How did you not see that? Oh, oh okay. There oh, oh it is, oh. bro. A curtain moves on its own, and a cane falls to the floor almost as if it was pushed. The three medical students are completely freaked out and just run right out of there. So, are the stories true? I don't know. And is the old emergency <laughs> I don't room know. haunted I don't, by the spirits I can't explain of former that, bro. patients? Fishing line, Let maybe, me know what you think. 
Why the hell did we Cynical. get to all of that just to do that? A new top five viewer and YouTube gamer who goes by the name Professor Cynical reached out to us about some scary, unexplainable events that have been happening at his home in England. And that kind of stuff happens all the time now. And the the hell. Even though Professor Cynical is... Buddy, uh, <laughs> Ghost well, was hungry. Cynical, That's what that means right there. Skeptic. Ghost was hungry. He says hungry. that ever since his family moved into their home four years ago, things have happened that he simply can't explain. Late one night, after being awakened by strange noises, Cynical gets up and starts recording. What happens next is downright creepy. Don't worry about that. That, that was my air freshener going off automatically. Eight minutes. Bargain. Nah, man. Nah, 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 nah. Nah. Nah, nah, nope, 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 nope. Bro, you funny as hell, Jack. Bro, who set up in the kitchen? Cynical is shocked when he sees the door to the kitchen move all by itself. But it gets I even even creepier. That, bro. I was talking on, on the anomalies again. Again? Oh, bro, that's it to move something? Can you make anything move? Cynical has the scare of a lifetime when suddenly a chair forcefully you, slides towards him from all the way across the room. Professor Showed Cynical this. says that he now believes his it house might just to be move very because it's going to do it. And then when it does it, you're going to get scared. That's how this shit works. Maybe just you know out. this. So, bro. Graveyard shift. Japri is working a late night shift on ambulance duty as an emergency medical technician. As he's driving the ambulance back to base, something happens that so many doors, about like five seconds. Is that he and his family should yeah, yeah right there what the hell up. is that is that like a storage locker right there what the hell is that Graveyard what does bro shift. use that for <laughs> japri is Graveyard working a late shift. night shift on ambulance <laughs> duty as an emergency medical technician as he's driving the ambulance back to base something happens that he simply can't explain something absolutely terrifying all right so i'm not sure how to um Probably what a ghost lived, probably. About this, but, <laughs> but first of all, I've been an EMT just for a little bit, and like I ain't never experienced nothing like this. So, to the bro, fuck? and we gotta add that's crazy, bro. We gotta add right in the middle of the video, bro. Like, right dead ass in the middle of the video. So, as we driving back to base. I swear I seen a face in the rearview mirror. What? Like. Set some as you can. Fuck, I need to turn this engine off though, cause like, we're gonna be stranded out here. Yeah, yeah. Seems possible. Oh, shit. Hey, thank you. Bro, I ain't never seen this clip before. Don't ruin it for me, bro. I ain't never seen it before. I'm trying to give trying genuine to reactions out here, bro. Okay? Am I finna get jump scared chat? <laughs> like, if that's the case, we just gonna sit back here and just watch. Now nah, we gonna lock in. I can do another scary comp next. I'll do like an actual scary one. Who makes the best scary comps though? That's the real question. Okay. Scared shitless chat, I ain't gonna lie to you. You see my whole body like react. Everything okay? <sighs> Bro, hell no, nah, bruh. 
I don't like this shit. No, no, he on it. The fuck? Oh, no. What? I don't know if you see it, but can can y'all see that back door? Like it just, oh, like it just flew open. Like can you? Oh. The hell? No, nah, what the f What was that? Can y'all see it? Bro, what nah, the hell? Hell no, nah, f that, nah. As Chapri is reaching in to turn off the engine, just off camera, the back door of the ambulance flies open on its own. <laughs> Japri is shocked and jumps back out, leaving his phone behind. Now he eventually returns and grabs his phone, but then Japri and his EMT partner see a strange unexplained shadow darting back and forth inside the ambulance. Japri says he was so shaken up by this encounter that he called his employer to come pick up the ambulance. He says he just took an Uber home. <laughs> Bro's just like me. Ain't no damn way. Alright guys. Um that'll be the end of this video. I hope y'all enjoyed. Like, comment, and subscribe. Um again, thank y'all for getting me to two hundred subscribers on YouTube. It means a lot. Um Yeah, it means a lot to me. And thank y'all for subscribing on YouTube. Um keep part of the grind. Uh y'all the main reason why I do this stuff. And I hate scary shit, so I don't even know why I even torture myself to make these videos, but I do it to entertain y'all in any way, shape, or form that I can. So um, I will actually come with more scary stuff. I will try to find scary, scary stuff to make myself scary to entertain y'all even more. So this is all I got from your off-brand Markiplier, Dollar General Markiplier, and have a great day. Slopers out, bro. <laughs>